When a narcissist discards you in the end, this is what they want to happen next. Everyone. Today, we navigate through the precarious landscape of what follows the final curtain falling on a relationship with a narcissist. In the rational world, where emotions play by expected rules, the demise of a relationship paints a poignant portrait of bruised feelings and rage storms. These emotions are typically processed, grieved over, and seeds of hope for good fortunes for both parties sprout. In an idyllic demeanor, the ashes might even foster personal growth and healing. Such are the common narratives authored when regular relationships conclude. However, the entry of a narcissist fractures this sense of normalcy into bleak shards. Narcissists reside outside the defined parameters of conventional human emotions or empathy-laced responses. Remorse and the notion of genuine transformation twirl as whimsical mirages in their mental land, non-existent fantasies, unless they serve an appetizing dish to their narcissistic hunger. Any hopes of the narcissist guarding your best interests in the declining phases of a relationship stand the chance of being dashed. Against the backdrop of such stark reality, let's set sail into this intriguing exploration. 1. A Narcissist's Deepest, Darkest Desires the convoluted hopes that knot themselves into the narcissist psyche when a relationship runs its course. Their inaugural hope seeks to crumble the sturdy foundations of your being into dust, entrapping you into the labyrinth of their clutches. Visualize an edifice, robust base stolen away, surrendering to the gravity imploding onto its own weight. It mirrors the narcissist's goal, annihilating your self-esteem and belief structure. Unfortunately, this erosion starts the moment they latch onto your life. Most people aspire to look up to their chosen partners for mutual support and love. Narcissists, however, drool at the prospect of supremacy, finding twisted enjoyment in your systemic degradation. They continuously sculpt away at your self-worth, splintering your esteemed image into fragments. Nothing stimulates a narcissist's twisted joy more than observing their target caught in a cycle of negativity and powerlessness even post the relationship's termination. Now, what does this malevolent plot sketch in the warped realm of a relationship with a narcissist? Initially, they stealthily loot their target's essence. They either disguise themselves in your distinctive attributes or smother them by cultivating disorder around your passions and interests. As a result, by the relationship's conclusion, you stand stripped of your past self. Staring into the mirror, the dread surfaces, I've lost sight of who I once was, you might confess, heart heavy. When probed with, but who is your genuine self? You might reply with a thunderous, I can trace the silhouette of the person I've morphed into, but the one I used to be shrouds in mystery. A lamentable reality, indeed. 2. A Collision of Egos Within the labyrinth of narcissistic entanglement, a significant divide carves itself within the survivor's psyche. A sharply drawn line separates the person they were prior to the narcissist's touch from their subsequent transformation. However, for those who grew under the shade of narcissistic guardians, this differentiation blurs out into the gray. They haul the weight of an eternal quest to discover their authentic selves, perpetually silenced, denied the luxury to exist genuinely. However, when the relationship's threads unwind, a remarkable transformation unfolds. The seeds of empowerment take root, sprouting a newfound sense of agency within oneself. A magnificent metamorphosis begins to flap its wings as the narcissist-imposed limiting beliefs crack open, replaced by empowering truths. Affirmations such as, I'm worthy, I'm enough, I'm lovable, and I'm exceptional, begin to echo within. This inner revolution leaves a profound impact, rocking the narcissist's self-constructed image at its core. Their dominion over the survivor crumbles as they witness an emerging person, brimming with resilience and vitality. Yet, the narcissist finds a twisted form of pleasure in the wreckage they left behind during the journey. They harbor animosity towards any stride of progress or burst of happiness the survivor might cultivate. For the narcissist, letting go is unthinkable. The survivor's pursuit of joy looms as a direct challenge to their throne, leaving them festering in a toxic wish for continued self-destruction, perpetuated by disempowering beliefs. And the twisted desires of malignant narcissists stretch beyond bounds. Their secondary malevolent wish is to entrap you in the same convoluted existence they call home. 
These narcissists don't dwell in a life anchored in authenticity. They maneuver from behind the false core, a flattery mask for the world to admire. Rather than striving to blossom into truly virtuous individuals, they choose to primp and flaunt their fabricated personas. However, the catch here, a palpable sense of understanding that their targets harbor the capability for genuine authenticity. You might not have even awakened this potential within yourself, but the narcissist perceives its presence, and they stretch themselves then to lock you within their illusory selves. How do they reach this nefarious destination? It's a gradual descent, my friend. They systematically whittle away your free will, your independence, your inherent permission to remain true to your own self. Each time you dare to express your unique viewpoint, each time you bravely disagree with their assertions because of your diverse cognition, they shame you. Every step shrouded in shame sends tremors through your nervous system, making you feel like a stranger in your own skin. Speaking your mind, showcasing your authentic self, turns into a precarious gamble. As the connection to your internal sanctuary of safety snaps, you drift from your true self. Genuine existence is replaced by an impersonation, a distorted avatar crafted under the narcissist's influence. This isn't the same as their illusion, a mirage set to bewitch others. No, this invention is unique, a guise worn to maneuver through the threatening maze they've built around you. 3. The Paradox of Putting Up One's Own Defenses As we tread through the avenues of CPTSD, a term minted by practitioners and the community, we run into the concept referred to as the protective self. This construct is a departure from our authentic core, a facade cut from the cloth of past traumas. Unlike the narcissist's lack of an authentic self, our protective self sways in as a defense mechanism. It steps into the spotlight through the lens of trauma responses, confined within the arch of fight-flight triggers. These reactions, often mistakenly labeled as ingrained personality traits, are offshoots from our past scars. Gradually, we find ourselves entwined with these trauma responses, recognizing them as the essence of our existence. The proneness to people-pleasing tendencies, the sacrifice of our true selves to fulfill others' expectations become a part of the path we tread, thus leading deeper into the protective self-mindscape. Within this protective self, we stand distance from our inherent worth, our genuine desires, and our authentic nature. It binds us within its iron clutches, shackling us from living authentically and dimming the radiance of our genuine core. To traverse through this paradox, we must muster the courage to embark on a journey back to our authentic selves, shedding the armor of the protective self and embracing our innate essence. Only through this journey can we outgrow the boundaries of past traumas and reclaim our legitimate space in the world. 4. Trapped in the Narcissist's Illusionary World Narcissists are kingpins at trapping us within the delicate gossamer of their delusion. They extract immense satisfaction from ensuring our continued existence within our false selves, unable to unfurl the wings of our authentic selves in full flight. After all, if authenticity eludes them, why should we be any different? One tool wielded to realize this crooked plan is swaying others to view us through the lens of the problem while they neatly step into the shoes of the innocent victim. They've laid the groundwork for this perception much before we can gauge the poison-soaked dynamics, whether we decide to walk away or they discard us from the relationship. As we strive to assert our truth, harboring a desperate need to establish our innocence, the narcissist indulges in this tableau. They understand that tangling in the maze of manipulation with them is an exercise in futility. They hold a deep-seated familiarity of contorting and distorting reality to serve their narrative. By coaxing us in investing our efforts into validating ourselves, they cunningly alter our focus from our lives, entangling it within their deceptive web. Our thoughts, our energy, our emotions morph into food for the narcissist, supplying the narcissist's constant hunger. Whether our responses twirl positively or negatively, as long as they remain the stage's spotlight, they revel in satisfaction. 5. Bringing your real self back to life. When your world orbits around the narcissist, when your energy ceaselessly flows towards them, for them, or on account of them, you unintentionally cast yourself away. Your endeavors to prove your worth to those deaf to your appeals only fortify the trap you're stuck within. This vicious cycle barricades your path to living out your own narrative, 
leaving you invalidated, gaslit, and befuddled. The narcissist feasts on your sense of isolation and loneliness, promoting your woe. However, the power of liberation rests within your grasp. So, what can be done? Should you surrender to these three destructive patterns? Absolutely not. To guard yourself from stumbling into any of these snares, consider these suggestions. In the wake of the narcissist's demolition of your identity's foundation, time itself cannot nurse the damaged structures. Gaslighting and manipulation left our souls, inner beings, authentic selves, and self-perceptions distorted. To resurrect our genuine selves, we need to consciously step onto the healing path, embarking on an odyssey to reclaim our original essence violated by the narcissist strategies. Exiling toxic personas from our lives is undeniably beneficial. We shouldn't let those with a motive of destruction bear an influence over us. However, the mere tick-tock of time alone can't span the chasm between our pre-toxic relationship selves and the transformed versions. Time in isolation can't nurse the nerve injuries inflicted due to trauma, injuries that imprint both our brains and subconscious. These injuries linger, crying out for aid and attention. They don't vanish into thin air with time's passage. Thus, we ought to be open to diving into the necessary inner work. Healing from the trauma dealt by a toxic persona demands active involvement on our part. It calls for a deep sea dive into our inner abyss, unearthing the dormant pain and addressing it head-on. This internal work transcends simply towing the line waiting for time to dress the wounds. It involves tackling the impactful trauma that the toxic relationship has cost us and untangling its grip from our minds and hearts. This journey is a boulevard of self-revelation, self-compassion, and self-growth. It may be punctuated with therapy, self-reflection, and seeking pert support from trusted anchors who can steer us through the healing waters. Dismantling the fortress of our protective self isn't an instantaneous activity. It can't be executed by merely watching a video or thumbing through a book in a day, expecting our protective self to dissolve by the morning. It's a phased-in journey of tending to the scars of trauma and taking back the reins of our inner strength and agency. Veritable healing and transformation require tending time and dedication. It is through dogged determination and commitment over a substantial period that the teachings and practices can seep into your subconscious, affecting enduring shifts within your being. This process shouldn't be approached hurriedly or lightly. It calls for patient endurance, self-compassion, and readiness to pierce into the corners of ourselves housing the wounds. 6. Dismantling the illusion of self and the quest within. This practice stretches far beyond the comprehension of right and wrong practices in the aftermath of narcissistic abuse, gauging situations accurately, or adopting the suitable mindset. One could house an encyclopedia of knowledge and logic, but still find the path to application blocked. Ever dwelt within the frustrating bubble of knowing your desired action and its path, yet the resistance from your body pulls you back. If your answer echoes a yes, you find yourself in broad company. When chained within a protective mode, our bodies unconsciously continue the errand the narcissist initiated. They bar us from walking the path our conscious intends, paths which once unfolded into the alleyways of shame, insults, and abandonment from those we anticipated love and support from. Our bodies react by firing signals of discomfort, commonly donned as procrastination. But this resistance is your body's manner of whispering. Moving ahead doesn't hold safe for me. As a result, we remain marooned within defensive limbo until we courageously engage in the requisite profound inner work. Venturing into the deep caves of our inner selves holds the key to understanding the roots that birth the protective avatar and the wounds it cradles. It's within this introspection that the keys to unlock our true potential and restore our autonomy make themselves known. Through compassionate self-care, therapy, self-reflection, we can step aboard the healing vehicle. As the journey progresses, we nurse and merge our fragmented selves, methodically pulling down the false self's bricks and reconstructing our authentic essence, thus slipping away from the narcissist's clutches and stepping into empowerment. The transformation lies nestled within the inner work, caring for our body and mind, paving an avenue of self-discovery and growth. Here is a nugget of wisdom that the narcissist wishes you never stumble upon. There isn't a necessity to establish your worth to anyone. 
The might of your self-belief outweighs 100 voices of belief in your favor. Banking on others for validation can sow seeds of insecurity, as their presence and opinions can ebb away or dissolve into thin air. When you awaken the power of self-validation, external validation starts seeming insignificant. If others believe in you, it becomes a cherry topping, but it ceases to bolster the foundation of your self-worth. In case they don't extend their belief, it doesn't sway your world because your faith in yourself stands unshakable. In its essence, post-discard, the narcissist nurses a single desire to keep you shackled. However, by championing your power and steely resisting the temptation of the trap, you ignite a profound empowerment within. The narcissist loses their grip, and you embark on an unchartered chapter of personal growth and self-empowerment. My sincere gratitude for investing your time into watching this stream of insights. If you found it engaging, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Another enriching video will strike your screen soon. So, until our screens meet again, let the healing unfurl.